guys so welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome all welcome in between welcome anything all right so this video is all about um, doing your own twists braids by yourself beginners whatever it trust me I'm not a professional I can't quote unquote do hair and everything and I said you know what I need to get my hair done I don't want to look crazy inside the house so listen I get it done and I watch this girl she, I think her name is Adana hope I get it right Adana that's her name and she did the method of rubber band with the hair trust me wish rubber band look at it hmm? you can't detect the rubber band and yes the accessory is it with the little beads here and there to for it to be a little bit cute so I did just that and you can see the back and you'd have to it get professionally done but uh, no your girl did it yes all right so um there's a couple things i want to talk about before we get into this video so stay tuned there's more in store stay tuned because we have i um, have a hidden question in this video that will go straight towards the the giveaway price and you have to continue to watch the video to the end for the hidden question so you can able to get the answer and hopefully win the prize all right guys so here are the rules for the giveaway you must be a subscriber you must answer the hidden question in this video correctly you must like this video obviously and you must get persons to subscribe to my channel subscribing to my channel it has to be five persons or more so for the person with the most subscribers along with the other requirements will definitely um, get the price of 10,000 Jamaican dollars and that is one zero 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 J A J M D dollars sorry so that is 10,000 Jamaican dollars um, we so to ensure that you qualify for this I'm going to ask you to ensure that you follow the rules once the rules are followed then all the best to you the cutoff time for this will be on Monday which will be August 17th I think and that would be at and the cutoff it would be at 12 p.m. sharp on Monday August 17th and I reveal the winner on August 19 which is the Wednesday where I'll be posting another video to reveal the winner however um, as it regards to the person that you you recommended and they're subscribing I'll ask you to just leave those person name in the comment and I'll I'll check it and ensure that those persons are valid and they are subscribing to my channel so if they are a person that already was subscribing before um, they are not valid there but they're valid to enter the competition but they're not valid to be a new person that you recommend because they would already be subscribing to my channel so I just want you to just follow the rules and following the rules you will ensure that you get your price on Wednesday and I'll definitely shout out to the winner um, and I'll definitely be happy to and more than happy to 
to give that person that 10,000 GMD dollars, Jamaican dollars. So I want to show my appreciation and, my, and thank you for subscribing. So that's what I'm doing. All right, guys. So what I want you to do is to continue to like, share, comment, and sure to subscribe to my channel. Alright guys, so the products that I use for this tutorial is the EBN 24 hour lock and pomade. It's for braid twists or locks. It is really good. It's really good. It's have honey and bee. Then I go in with the Lotto Body Coconut and Shade Oil Wrap Me Foaming Mousse. Also, I use the Kanto Sheen Butter Hydrating Leave-In Condition Mess. And um oil sheen any oil sheen of your choice and the bs organic jamaican almond oil which is a scalp rejuvenator i did also use um, a satin head tie when it's finished a black rubber band tail comb the extreme styling gel red by kiss and brush and comb and some jumbo beads and along with that, I use the pack of hair that I use is from Free Stress. It's clean therapy. It's already pre-rinsed, pre-stretch, and it can be hot water and it's non-flammable. So it is good for some for beginners that don't know how to stress hair and don't know how to do um, hair. So I think this is really a good pack of braids if you want something that is already pre-stretched already. Alright, so I'll definitely recommend do those products to do your hair. Um, I did ensure to wash my hair and I wash my hair then I blow dry it and section it, section it as you can see. And that is where the Kanto leave-in condition mist came in because I already missed my hair with that. Let's it a bit softer. However, normally when you blow dry your hair, you try to blow dry it to get it straight as possible. But for this video, I did not do that. Um, so it still worked based on the product that I did, um, I use in my hair. So I start from the extreme back and then I work my way to the front. And that is the start but all I do for the video I will definitely show you how it is done I'm going to show it from the front so you can see it very clearly so all right guys we are more than halfway through the braids we're getting somewhere we're getting this hair done and we're getting it snatched and I did it all by myself I'm so proud of this look so as I mentioned before in this video that um, the person that I watched it was Adana. I'll leave the link that, um, below as it regards her name, as it regards to her channel. She has natural hair. She did the rubber bun method and I think it was excellent. Um, it really works out. It, 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 it can last for a long time and it's, this method is really, really good for beginners and tr trust me, if you have nothing to do with hair, um, limit knowledge, this method will definitely help you to do so. Okay? Alright, so what you want to do is you want to ensure that you align the hair to the other side so it has some similarity so it's looking um, similar to each other. Um, when two, After you get that finished and well put together, then I'll definitely part it again and parting the hair I'm just ensuring that it's straight um, I will do have some knickknacks here and there because as I said I'm not a professional I just this is my first time attempting to do this and doing so I'm really 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 proud of myself as it regards to this look and trust me if I can do it anybody else can surely do this look okay so after we get that 
parted and then we got that part to pin up then we're going with the EBN 24 hour lock and, and pro made it's good for braid and twist it yeah. I do have a good feedback from it as it regards to my natural hairs it still have my hair intact so I do the four corners of my hair and after I do put them in then I'll use the red bag this is a brush and comb basically the little brush that you use to do your sideburns or you do your little um, baby hair and you're brushing the product to ensure that it smooth out the hair so you can be able to um, do the the rubber band method all right so you're going to get some hair um, and section it out get a little basically measure it to the amount that you section your hair to when you're through sectioning that then you're going to that little section that you have the area you're going to part it in two and leave it to one side then you're going to put the braid in the middle of that part and you're going to get put the two here together and use the rubber band to 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 to, to hold it together so when you hold the two here together you're going to tie it back and forth back and forth and as you're through with that then you pull onto the hair as close as possible to your scalp and then from there you either twist your hair which is I'm doing a twist braid or you can do the box braid it depends on what you're looking for but in this video I did the twist Alright guys, so once you pull the hair towards the scalp, I use a little bit of the extreme styling gel to my hair because I said before when you're blow drying you want to blow dry your hair straight so it can look it can look similar to the braid. However, I didn't do that so that's why I use the extreme styling gel so it can interlock with the braid so it will be smooth when I'm twisting the hair. So when you're doing this you want to roll both hair roll and twist so it's the technique is roll and twist you want to ensure that because if you do a normal like you're twisting your hair then it will pull out it it won't last it won't stay so you have to ensure that you roll both hair the one in your right and one in your left hand roll both hair then you twist roll you twist roll you twist and ensure that it's tight when you're doing that so you don't want to be roll and then it pull out and then you twist it has to be tight and intact okay all right guys i am doing the same thing to the other um section um i will be working the same method right throughout i have been doing my hair just like this okay now guys it's time for 
the hidden question all right the question is in my different way style your box braids how many ways did i style my box braid in that video so in my different ways to style your box braid video the question is how many ways did i style my box braid in that video So this is the finished look guys, um, finished braiding my hair, do it all by myself, as I mentioned if you can do it, if I can do it, you can do it, it's easy, just follow the rubber band method, the rubber band method is more easy because um, for some that doesn't know much about um, how to braid hair and you want to have a to something that you can manage yourself and i'll definitely say to do the rubber band method all right so i after you finish with your hair then you're going to trim up the flyaways after trimming up the flyaways of the of your hair then you're going to hot water the end of the hair to ensure that the hair stays in top so i did the left side first now I'm going to do the same thing to the right side and ensure that I get my hair hot watered so it can be laid and stay. So after I did the hot water, then I get my towel that I use to sap the hair. I'm going to dip it in the hot water and run it over my hair so that I can get some of the other, other top area that I might not um, trim up properly. So that will help as well.
so after i chew with the hot water i'm going with the lotter body oming mousse so i'll use that all over my hair ensure to apply it to the root end and right through the end of the hair and when i'm through with that i'll go in with my almond oil and try to not try put some oil in my scalp so this will definitely help to rejuvenate my scalp and help it to um, soften it so I'm definitely going with that and my final touch will be the oil sheen so I spray my hair with the oil sheen and get that hair looking lovely like how you're seeing right now accessorize this braids a bit I'm gonna put some beads at the end so I'm going to use some jumbo beads I'm gonna use the clear this wooden bead and some brown so I'm gonna utilize all these three in the end okay so I'm going to so guys I had um, rubber band on the end of this here in case that you're not sure how to to actually had a knot on the end of the hair and you don't want to pull up you can do something like that all right so we need to go in with clear I like about the jumbo beads, a wooden piece, it's easy to go on than a small one. And one of the clear brown looking type. Benny here. Get the band. So I'll be doing all the hair like this. So through show you everything all right thank you for watching bye